Hey, what's happening, everybody? Today we'll be uh, looking at five different pellets that I fired into uh, clay from 10 yards with my Gamo Big Cat 1200. First group here, oh, sorry. First group here is the uh, Gamo Red Fires, and from 10 yards, every single pellet turned into a lead donut, and the polymer tip completely passed through the pellet turning it inside out. It did not penetrate completely through the clay block. Penetration was about 1 and 7 eighths inches into the clay. But uh, as far as getting the pellet to, to lay down and spread out, this was the largest expanding pellet that I had of the test. Next in line, we have the Gamo Blue, Fire, uh, Blue Flames. Excuse me. And... Uh, these are a PBA non-lead ammunition, and being the f that they are harder than the lead, they did not completely implode like the lead ones did, but they did flatten out pretty well considering they're a very lightweight pellet, 5.4 grain, supersonic, ridiculously accurate for how light lightweight they are. I expected to have uh, a lot more flyers, but they were uh, pretty consistent grouping with these pellets. Oh, the penetration on this uh, end of the clay also was uh, one and a half inches. I think this was uh, uh, less penetration than the red fires based on the fact that uh, even though it goes faster, it has less grains behind it, so probably less energy. This middle group of pellets here is the Gamo Magnums. They've compressed, but they haven't really flattened out. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm just taping this on my iPhone. Um... If you can just look at them, the uh, upper point has smashed onto the lower point, but the skirt hasn't really deformed at all. These penetrated really, really, really well. Two and one eighth inches into the clay, but uh, very small, small entrance. Probably small exit if it were to exit. Up in this corner, we have the cheapest, most inexpensive pellets of the group, and. They performed accordingly. They were they were as accurate as the rest. These are the Beeman hollow points. There's like, I think I got 500 for eight bucks from uh, Big Five Sporting Goods, and um, they didn't really flatten out the way I would expect a hollow point to. If you can see, the diameter is roughly uniform all the way down, which kind of points to maybe the top of it flattened a little bit. But <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, the rest of it didn't really flatten out. Now, I tried an experiment with these beam and hollow points here, very same pellets, and took a 16th inch drill bit and just made the hollow point cup a little bit deeper. I did not make the hole all the way through it. That happens on impact. Um, but I did make the hole slightly larger with a 1 16th inch drill bit that I just kind of turned by hand. The lead's so soft it just shaves out. And I made the cup slightly larger uh, in the hollow point head than the uh, stock beam and hollow point comes from the factory and you can see side by side comparison here the ones on the right hand side in the top row absolutely are larger than the ones on the left and that's because uh, with less material in the center of the pellet there's more room for the exterior of it to expand and that's exactly what it did for some reason, these pellets were actually more accurate than the stock pellets as well. I'm not sure if it's because I uh, I weighed them in and made them all uniform after I was done with them, and they come out of the factory probably slightly rougher, or maybe that shape just lends to a more efficient cut through the air. I, I don't know. I'm not a, a physicist. But in any event, free modification, 16th inch drill bit turned by hand in the middle of a beam and hollow point. Flattens out really, really, really nicely in a block of clay. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.